Hey, welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Digital Filmmaking. I was working uh, on Eleven Labs site, playing around with some AI voices, and I noticed they had a new feature. If you look up here, it says, uh, it says dubbing release automatic voice translation for your videos. And I'm thinking, what? Okay, hmm, what's that all about? This is amazing. If you're a user of Eleven Labs, you should really check this out. Um, I'm only using like uh, we're only using like a five dollar a month thing because we're just dabbling in a little bit, and we might use some AI voices to kind of make, maybe touch up a voice that ended in a in a, in a going up instead of going down. So we'll render a the down version, throw that in. We're not using it extensively, but we use a little bit, and we also did a video about uh, AI voices and stuff like that. So if you wanna check that out, I'll throw that in the description, in the, in the description down below. But this will blow your mind. So as a real quick thing, um, I went to the dubbing section of Eleven Labs and I see it right here. And well, let me show you what it did. I grabbed a video that I had previously done and uh, translated it into Spanish, which on the, on the, you know, in the beginning, it doesn't sound like it's a huge thing, right? Oh yeah, you translate it into Spanish. We do that all the time. But check this out. Not only did it translate it into Spanish, and let's go, uh, I'll go big with this, and then just, let's just jump right in and play. Y YouTube se puso raro, pero de todos modos quería mostrarte algo que, que descubrí no hace mucho tiempo que quizás hayas descubierto. O un problema en tu línea de tiempo. ¿Alguna vez tienes una secuencia que no comí? Holy smokes. Not only did it translate it into conversational Spanish, but it sounds exactly like I would sound if I could speak Spanish. Oh, by the way, I speak fluent Spanish. You guys can tell, right? I speak fluent Spanish. Piensa en cero. Entonces, si miras aquí esto, esta secuencia aquí, incluso si la arrastro hasta... Yeah, no problem. Guys, let me tell you, this is a freaking game changer. Um, I don't know what technologies they're using in the background for the translation, they might be using OpenAI stuff, maybe ChatGPT, because if you're familiar with ChatGPT, you know you can use it to do translations that's like on steroids, right? So you can go to Google Translate and get a word for word translation, or you can go to ChatGPT and say, translate this into Spanish, you can give it context. You can say, I'm in a Spanish restaurant and I would love to order breakfast. How do I do that? Translate this into, you know, speak, and it will do it in a conversational style as opposed to maybe word for word. This is a freaking game changer. But here is my question. The first time I saw this happen, um, and it's low res because I just did a preview. The first, oh, and this does use your, uh, your characters. If you have a certain character limit, which is in your subscription, I wouldn't throw a, a, a 60 minute video in there as a test. This was a five minute video that we had done pr previously. But I said, okay, wait a minute. I don't speak fluent Spanish. My Spanish speaking is extremely minuscule. So I don't know how, how good this is, you know, in terms of contextually, did it say what I said I, I said. So I went in and did, I grabbed a news broadcast, a quick test, and I translated a news broadcast from its native Spanish into English. And just check this out for a minute. This is insane. We're going to jump right in. Now these people are speaking, natively speaking, Spanish. And uh, what's what's great is they have a translation down at the bottom, but we'll just play a little bit so we don't get a copyright strike or whatever. I think it was necessary to come and say enough is enough and that the, the important thing is that we get out of this significant economic crisis and that money isn't spent on. That is amazing. And what's also amazing is that if you jump to a different person, it it uses their voice. So each person has a voice and contextually speaks in the language you can you translate to. Of the slogan that's up there on the stage for Spain, for democracy, for the constitution, to defend the current Spain, the one that allows us to live in freedom. Well, okay, so there are many possibilities for this and it sounds great to me. You can check out uh, this on 11labs.io. And I don't know if this comes with a free account, but I would say sign up for a $5 account, play around with this. This is pretty exciting. Um, and the possibilities are ridiculous. I mean, we've had clients that needed uh, translations on their videos and 
you send it out to a company to get it translated into the language, and then you get a a voice uh, a voice actor to do it. Uh, for short things, this may be a good. Um, this may be uh, something that you could try, or if maybe for testing, or something. I'm not sure if it's ready for production, because like I always say, voice actors are uh, ex it's still extremely valuable. And um, until these tools get even stronger with context and everything, um, I wouldn't really trust a really important client project with an AI generated um, translation dub. But how freaking amazing is this? Let me know in the comments if this is something that you would maybe try to use. Let me know if uh, this is blasphemy and it should be stricken from the earth. Or if you go, wow, maybe I can translate my YouTube videos and ask a friend who speaks that language, did I sound correct? <laughs> I would definitely want to check and make sure. Guys, thanks so much. Uh, and you'll see me in the next video. See you later.